Hey everyone, it's uh, Scott Norris here from uh, Virtualize Me. Now, I had a rare chance to get a, a cloud assembly or a you know, VMware uh, cloud automation account that has nothing in it, so completely blank. So I thought, well, let's actually have a look at automating um, some of the um, cloud assembly stuff, like setting up from nothing to usable and you know play around with the APIs and see what I could do. Now I chose to do it in Orchestrator uh, because I could slap it together. It was probably about two hours worth of effort if that, probably about an hour spaced over a couple of days um, just when I got a, a spare moment and I'll share those that package too uh, for anyone who wants to who is interested uh, it will be available to download from my blog. Now as we can see here I've got a cloud assembly account and there is absolutely nothing in it. Um, there's no projects, so there's no cloud accounts there. We've got no projects, we've got no cloud zones, we've got no flavor mappings, no images, no network profiles, no storage profiles. So it's completely blank. And I want to be able to set it up. So uh, hopefully this all go this all goes to plan. Um, and what I've done just to add a bit of bit of flavor is that um, we'll actually uh, provision the cloud assembly. Um, set up through VRA. So uh, let's uh, let's do let's do this. So I got virtualize me. Now here we can see we got create AWS account. Yep, create Azure account. Yep, uh, create flavors. Yep, create images. Yep, create storage profiles. Yes, and create project. Sure. Let's hit submit on on that one there. So I see that going now. What I've got here is a bunch of workflows. Uh, the master of workflow will run as it is now, and that'll go ahead and do everything that it needs to do. Now, what I've actually done as part of this is I've set up uh, a lot of content in here, uh, so we'll be able to see a bunch of uh, stuff uh, entered here for my accounts. So I just thought I'd, I'd keep them all there. So they'll have to be filled in with your own, obviously, uh, going forward. And that will go ahead and go through all the different things till it gets to the bottom here. So that shouldn't take too long. And we go from having a completely blank cloud automation account to having a fully populated one. So, to our cloud assembly. Now I should start getting some cloud accounts in here. Yep, cool. So I've got my AWS accounts. Um, I should be getting cloud zones with that as well. Awesome. Let's see, where else is this at? Let it run through. Done. Okay, so that's all done. So took a little over two minutes uh, to complete. So we've got our cloud zones, uh, we've got the Flavor mappings are here. Yep, small, medium, large. So they should line up to what I had selected for both those two accounts. Yep, great. Image mappings, I only had Linux that I set up. But it's got marketplace image there, plus my own custom AMI used here for AWS. That's great. We've got our network profiles. So I look at AWS. You can see auto created by VRO, that's just what I put the description for everything. Um, we can see that I've got my tags um, and I've got my networks there. Uh, Zure, I think there's only one network that I connect to. Uh, yep, that's it. You can see auto created by VRO again, storage profiles. Um, so Azure just manage disks, 
nothing important. Credible VRO, great. Um, and AWS is obviously the same, but with GP2. And finally, projects, Project X has been created, should have me as the admin, and it should be set to these two cloud zones, 50 instances, yep, everything that I've got set in there. Um, so that's it, a little over two minutes, blank CAS to being able to consume it uh, in public cloud. So I'm gonna, as always, put my packages up on my blog, uh, I'll be, that should be there in the next couple of days while I just write out a blog to go along with this video. Yeah, have a bit more detail in there. Um, for the workflows, now I slapped it together as I do with most of my things, but uh, it is done in a modular way so um, you can use it as your own building blocks. I've got specific um, workflows for each of the steps uh, that it does. Uh, and these work pretty independent, so whether you feed in an array or you loop through, so it can handle more than just one type or just one setting, you can, you know, send in arrays. Um, and that's it. So, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Cheers, bye.